Well, I saw the Star Trek Discovery Season 2 trailer. Now, what did I think of it? Let's find out. I saw the trailer last night, and there's also some other news that I saw regarding who's playing who. But I think the biggest thing is the trailer, and it looks interesting. I have to admit that. The first season trailer, it showed a lot of action, a lot of things that uh, didn't look that Star Trek-y, especially with the time period. But what we get in this trailer is something that looks familiar. First of all, we see Captain Christopher Pike wearing a very familiar yellow uniform. Although it has been updated a bit, and of course in the cage he wasn't wearing a yellow uniform like that. In fact, these are going with the original series style of uniforms, which is nice to see. I really like to see that. And as I said, they are updated, but they don't look like the, the really flimsy uniforms that they used in the original series. Well, who really wants to see the flimsy uniforms? Not me. I like to see something that's a bit sturdier. And this does look okay. Uh, I can accept how it looks. And it does bring back a bit of the nostalgic feeling. We get to see Spock's uniform, but we don't see Spock because he's not there. Of course, he can't meet Sarek because uh, in the original series they hadn't seen each other in years. So they can't see each other and they don't, as far as I know. But I'm just wondering how this is going to play out. Pike is coming on board the Discovery and taking command. So he's going to be the new captain, at least for a short while. There's a big mystery, and it seems that Spock is involved. What this means is they have to go searching for Spock. That kind of sounds familiar, the search for Spock. The third movie. Well, I, this is nothing like that. This is when Spock was with Captain Pike on the Enterprise. But of course, he's not the first officer at this time. The first officer was number one. She doesn't really have a name. We didn't see her in the trailer, but I did read something interesting. She will be played by Rebecca Romaine. That is the former wife of John Stamos, current wife of Jerry O'Connell. And of course, she's very well known as Mystique in X-Men. We also get to see the Discovery's new chief engineer. And of course, she works in main engineering, which we have not seen yet. So I'm interested in seeing what the Discovery's main engineering looks like. I'm hoping it has a bit of a TOS feel. Well, not quite. I mean, those sets were really cheap in the original series. But you do have to realize that the Enterprise is older than the Discovery. We didn't see any part of the Enterprise except for the outside, which is slightly different than the original series, mainly the nacelles, which... Okay, I can accept that. And I do understand that the Enterprise has gone through a few refits during its time. So maybe there's something like that. I don't know. But back to the uniforms. Uh, we did see Pike in his yellow uniform. We also saw a couple others, one in blue, one in red. So we do get to see all three uniform colors. And towards the end of the trailer, we'd see a Saurian. That's something we've never seen in Star Trek. We've heard of them so many times. You know, Saurian Brandy. But finally, we get to see one, and this one is a crew member aboard the Discovery. There are some interesting things to notice about the trailer. There are a lot of ship shots. You get to see the exteriors of ships a lot, which I really like. And we also get a lot of humor. Season 1 was really dark, so it is nice to see some humor, but I'm not sure if... I would say it's very good jokes, but we'll see how it goes. Now, overall, I am very interested in seeing season one, and unfortunately, we have to wait until 2019. That's going to be a while. What do I like about it? I like the visuals. I like the fact that we see yellow, blue, and red uniforms. I like the fact that Spock is going to be involved, and it brings a lot of nostalgia back from the original series. So I really hope to see a lot, and I'd like to see them give us something that we love about the original series. So what do you think? Did you like the trailer? I liked it. Of course, I have to think that, you know, this is a trailer. This is meant to make it look really good. 
and so far it does look very good. The real test is when it comes out. Episode 1. Will episode 1 be good? That remains to be seen. But let me know what you thought about the trailer in the comment section below. Now there is one more thing I would like to say. Something that I read. It says that they are going to be syncing up the Discovery timeline. Well, this is prime timeline, I should say. The Discovery, like everything, the visuals and everything, they're going to sync it up to the Prime Universe, which is the original series, of course, which takes place a few years later. But I can foresee a kind of transition into how things look in the original series, except updated. And we don't want everything to look plastic or made of wood. You know, a lot of the sets were made of wood, and it looked like it. The bottom line is I'm excited about season two. I'm really looking forward to it. I enjoyed season one, but I do look forward to the return to some of the old style that we're used to from the original series. And I hope we get that. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see some more videos about science fiction, then please check out those ones over there. And subscribe if you like. See you in the next video.